Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are back in Loop Hero and with the fourth episode after getting schooled on the third I think we are uh, off to a hopefully good start by uh, just continuing here and seeing what we can do. Field Kitchen could be upgraded still but that would take all our remaining food resources. I'm not sure if that is important or not. Um, also, I would like to actually build a farm next. And what did we gain last time? Well, we did build a gymnasium. So now we have a new feature unlocked. And that will be quite handy. That is gaining skills over the course of your looping around. And we do have a new card. And that is the village, yes. And that is another source of healing. Uh, 15 plus 5 times the loop number. And it gives a quest. Yeah, that is a nice one. We do want that. Um, I really like that card. It kind of becomes a little... It fills the board nicely. And, okay. I think that should be a decent setup. 10 out of 12 cards. We confirm that. And, yes, we remain in Chapter 1 because we're still not quite up to scratch, I feel. This is... Uh, I think the second run was... A little bit of a unicorn run there. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Um, although the last one we had was rather successful too. Until we found out that we don't have that much healing. But this should be different with the village, village card. We don't have the farm yet, which would give us wheat fields, which has a nice synergy with this healing. But yeah, let's, uh, let's get going. And we do have our base equipment again. Let's put it on and start looping. First, um, other little source of enemies, Spider Cocoon, over here. I hope this is passing a day until then. Maybe not. Let's see what happens. Just some basic equipment so far. Ah, Grove. Nice. Where do we want to place our groves? Hmm. And this is a nice area for it. But we can basically put anything there. Could do uh, cemeteries as well. And, yeah... I think this area in general will be mostly villages and, well, we don't have fields just yet. But it is nice to have some enemies right after that because... Uh, well, does it really matter? No, not really, because they are giving you a quest which designates um, an enemy which is then, like, leveled up, so to say, and becomes your target. And that target will drop some extra, and next time you pass the village, you will get a reward. So, more resources, basically. Um, the grove, where do we want to place it? How about just just towards the end of the loop there? Uh, we start out with our mountain now. Okay, um, let's, let's keep it up in the corner. Although, is that a good choice? Probably not, no. No, it wasn't. I should have taken this one step away from the edge. Because then I can get synergies, if this is a long run, uh, I can get synergies by placing stuff outside there as well. So that is a bit of a mistake, I feel. But, uh, yeah, minor one. Okay, I've put on auto power pause when hitting the camp. Uh, quite nice a uh, uh, thing to switch on, I feel. Uh, then you can always decide, do I want to tackle this next one or not? Oh, there we have the village. Alright, heals 25 HP upon entering, gives you a quest. Um, so, I think we do want to have a village uh, probably after this part. We don't have wheat fields just yet, so if we put a village after this part, which will be our main battle area, then that will give us some extra healing. And now we have a quest, and that has spawned an enemy right there, uh, which has now a little crown on top, and that is our target. Oh, already a free spider fight. This could be a little nasty. No, no. Please give me some item of level 2. That would be quite handy, that. Uh, battlefield. Now, you could put one there. This is also good for the start of the next loop, uh, being very soon. So, yes, give us a chest. Oh, level 3 weapon. There we go. That's a nice upgrade. So here's the slime that uh, is a slime king or something. Uh, he is quest goal, plus 200% HP. Okay, but otherwise still the same old. So not that much more dangerous. 
but he will uh, give us some reward at some point then. Uh, come on, quest done. Oh, nice. Double card drop plus item and another village. Uh, how about we play some villagers here towards the end? Um, healing before we get to the boss, so to say. Yeah, I think that's reasonable. Let's place it right there. In fact, oh, bandit camp. Spawns a bandit on an adjacent tile every two days. Bandits prefer villages. Appears for every two village tiles. Okay. Cool. Uh, that I didn't know. Um, so I should have placed this one somewhere else. But we could always oblivion it later on. But on the other hand, this is actually pretty good. Because that also occupies this tile for, for the lich fight. Blood Grove. Um, how about we place it right there, blocking another tile off. Yeah, could be useful. Also, for the fight, that means that um, once the, uh, the, the boss is below 15%, then it's getting eaten, I believe. So it doesn't say it doesn't work for bosses, so I assume that is correct. And we just place a cemetery right after the town there, and we are nicely nestled here already. There's not much the Lich will be able to place down. Now just three tiles, so we are well prepared already now, a little early. Oh, okay, new weapon. Uh, magic damage for regen per sec. So actually, this one is dealing 13 to uh, 17 with a magic component to it and has regen, so it is stronger than our current weapon. Oh, there's a bandit, I believe. Uh, gives you a quest and now we have bandit problems. So what do we do with this? Uh, answer nothing, probably. Is that really a problem? Probably not. So let's just continue on. We have plenty of meadows lying around. I'm still waiting for our first treasury. And there comes the bandit. Oh, he looks Garaza Grim. Oh, you don't look like a local. Why, why do you sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger? Wait a second. How do I remember Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yeah, so far I see no reason to quit, apart from our very shoddy equipment and parts, um, but our weapon is decent. So I think we can survive a little bit longer and we are going to get some chests too, so let's see what happens. Oh, and there we have a new weapon. Yeah, that's pretty nasty. Uh, 16 to 24, vampirism 10. And that's a level 5 weapon. And we are on loop 4. Oh, look at that. There we have the new mechanic. And that is a good... <laughs> that's a good drop. Uh, what do we want to choose? <laughs> Let's see. Um, so ring was level 1 so far. Oh, how about choosing this one, which has the same amount of regen, but uh, in addition, defense, evasion, and vampirism. Yeah, let's go with this one. Although this one is also quite nice. Attack speed counter and magic damage 4. Magic damage 4 is nice. But now, level up. Okay, hero traits menu. So every time you get a level up, you are able to choose out of three traits. And those are quite, quite interesting, I have to say. Skilled armor, defense increases by one after each loop. Um... Yeah, okay, that means on loop 10, you're taking 10 less damage uh, flat, which is nice. Survivalist, if your H HP drops below 30%, your regeneration is doubled. Okay, so it kind of builds you a um, second wind mechanic there, which always triggers automatically. Dominant mass, okay, damage is increased by 20% of defense value. Hmm, oh, I'm not so sure. How much defense do we have at the moment? 10. So that will be damage is increased by 2. Is that so beautiful, is it? Uh, let's see, loop number 4. This would increase our defense to 14 already. I think I'm going, going to try the skilled armorer. Yes, 14. So it did work. Cool. Oh, a skeleton that is a quest giver. That, that extra HP is nasty. And he turns into a ghost as well. Uh, but the ghost only has 13 HP, so that doesn't matter. A uh, new ring. Nah, damage to all and defense. That's quite nice. But uh, yeah, we are continuing our mountain. Almost done with the mountain before the first uh, the first treasury shows up. Triple goblin fight. 
How are we dealing with this? Yeah, pretty good so far. And we just got a, a new armor. Or two. We shall see. Uh, oh, oh, three. No, that is a... Uh, oh, yeah. That's a nice upgrade all around. Just survivability. Um, more defense, more everything. Let's take it. And then regen or counter. Hmm. I think I'm going with the regen because that is quite a lot of regen. 1.8. That's plenty. And we just completed our mountain. There we go. And we can place another one around our camp to shield us. There we go, another spider cocoon. Right in front of the cemetery. Now, only two spots left for uh, Monsieur Leech. And we got another battlefield card. That is a very timely one. Because I do want to have a, uh, another one around here. Just to spawn in our chest. And... I could do that right here, in fact, because that shields another tile from the lich. And gives us a nice little battlefield. Um, grove. And yeah, we can place a grove here, or there, or there. Why not? Double bandit fight. Oh, they have a bit of evasion, have they? Yeah, not too nasty, but 17 damage, yeah. A little nasty it is. Healed up to full once again. I think we're definitely going to do another loop here. This this weapon is good. We've now upgraded to at least level 4 stuff. So yeah, we should be fine. Oh, and we just got a level 6 weapon. How good is this one? Um, basically, just a straight upgrade. A uh, little upgrade. Vampirism slightly down, but evasion is nice. So more survivability, I take it. And there's our first treasury, finally! Holy shit. Um, do we need a shield? Yeah, I think it's quite nice. Doesn't have the counter, but uh, damage to all and vampirism. So let's go with it. And this one... Mm, it's more defense. Regen per sec is on there. We have survivability at the moment. That's not the issue. But yes, finally, it is treasury time. Let's place it up here and put down some meadows as well. Um, that was stupid. That was fucking stupid. I placed it down below. Ah, oh, man. And can I place it there? No, I can't because it's close to the border, so that doesn't work. Well, we have a standalone treasury now, so let's just place down some shit. And that will almost have unlocked very soon. Another blood blood grove. I'm going to place that down here. And a meadow. And that unlocks our treasury. Hmm. Counter 16% versus regen. I do want to keep my health up. That was what was stopping us the last time. And we have not gained too many villagers just yet. Oh, tri uh, quadruple goblin fight. Uh, lots of evade. Well, counters would help here. But, yeah, they are dealing plenty of damage, but we are recuperating a lot, too. Yeah, that was pretty easy. We lost only about, I would say, that's a sixth or seventh of our health. Now we're getting to the final few places, and we do have a big badass here. That is, uh, unfortunately, spawned down there. That is something that I need to take care of next time. You do want to place the grove at the start and the blood grove next to it so that um, you do get the big bad guy spawn at the start of the loop because he's going to drop some nice loop and you want the uh, level of that guy to be, um, to be higher, not lower, because that is dropping you some bonus loot then or higher level loot. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Um, oof. Just a new spawn there, too. We should be doing fine. We had full health. And we have another level up. Very good. Let's see what we can pick. And, or oh, perfect timing. Because we just got enough battlefield. And we can place that down right here. And that will allow us to have just another. Just another treasure box. Uh, but first, skilled armorer we have, plus 1.5 damage for every potion used. 
But problem being, can, can you actually see that? Can you see how many you've used so far? Oh, that, that is a bit of an oversight, I believe. Uh, can you see that here? Now, that should state how many you have uh, you've used so far. Or in here, in the stats. Damage per second? No, I can't see it. So, what do we take? Uh, take? Um, battering Ram, what is that? The hero rushes into battle head-on and his first attack has a 75% chance to stun each enemy for one second. Uh, mediocre, I would say. So with so much regen going on and us not having used any potions so far, I think it is the survivalist which uh, is going to be picked. There's nothing really good in here. Um, or, well, maybe I'm underestimating the Battering Ram, but... 75% chance to stun each enemy for one second. Huh. Huh. Maybe that does give you a decent advantage. Hmm. Now nah, I'm, I'm going to pick the survivalist. And now the big baddie. Let's see. You have 185. Ouch. 38 damage for each hit. Big slap in the face. If he hits... Ouch, 48. Brutal. Yeah, that was some nice loot drop. And this one, I think that is a good choice. We don't need that much regen, but more attack speed and more evasion is very much welcome. Higher, um, yeah, we had almost max health anyway, so I can pick this already. Yeah, this is all looking good. Damage to all nine. Oof. I think I'm going to take this because vampirism isn't healing us that, oh well. 23, that's probably where a lot of our health regain is coming from at the moment. So I'm a little reluctant to pick this one, although damage to all is a really nice skill. Okay, where are the treasuries? This next fight is a little nasty. We do have a level 6 weapon, but the rest is starting to become a little questionable, especially this shield. We do need some more defense, um, because this is starting to hurt. So maybe we do need to pick one of these. Hmm. This one has 12. This one has 23. So one more loop. I think we're in for it. Yes. Let's go. And this is looking pretty solid so far. We have so much evade, actually. Evasion, 34%. Quite nice. Oh, level 7 shield. That's what we called for. And more vampirism. Nice. Okay, yeah, let's take it. Place another blood grove right there. Um, let's see when when they are getting when they start to tingle. Oh, it looks like there's a quest enemy here. Yeah, quest goal. <laughs> this enemy basically acts as a healing potion. Very hard to kill, or very slow to kill rather, and uh, just doesn't hurt us that badly. So we are regaining lots of health. A double chest battle. Please uh, attack this one first, though. These skeletons aren't hitting me. I don't know what's going on there. Is there some mechanic that I'm not aware of? It looks like it. Which always uh, kind of works in your favor there. That you just don't trigger their attacks. Oh, uh, that you, their attacks just don't uh, get through. Huh. Don't, don't know. Unsure about that. Um, but anyway, I think this is a good location to place that treasury. And we are going to place three meadows right there. Level 7 ring. Let's see, counter and evasion. Even more evasion. And defense lost. Hmm, is this one better? Counter 23%, that's nice. And the basic ring. We have no counter whatsoever at the moment. Which is a bit of a weakness. But our evasion is just superb. Um, and, yeah, I'm not so sure. Maybe getting the counter instead of the vampirism is a good idea? Hmm. Hard to tell. Yeah, we do find a new armor here, which is quite nice. Counter plus 10, so we have some counter there. And then evasion equals... So nothing lost. Evasion equals here too, so I'm going for that one now. Level 7 ring. And now we should see more counters appear. So now we have counter... 24%, Vampirism 24%, and Evasion 26 Oh, big, big fight. But now our counter should come in handy, as well as all our evades. 
Uh, let's see if we can deal enough damage to club them down. There's a boss in here, a quest uh, goblin as well. Yeah, so far going pretty smoothly. First one is down. Oh, come on. Yeah, quest is done. And nuke this one as well. The other one should fall two in time. There, yes. Okay, that wasn't too hard a fight. We, Yes, we did lose quite a bit of health there, but um, nothing serious, I would say. Oh, this one is nice. Um, less, uh, less health, more evasion. Three more percent evasion. That is quite nice. Evasion is at 26. I think. Do I want to go for this? We do need a bit of bulk for the final boss because he just hits like a truck. So now yeah, I can. I think I'm skipping this one. Finally, drew another village that is, has been taking quite a while. So I think where I'm going to place it is right there, actually. Or right towards the end. And last but not least, sh should we sh should we just block everything? <laughs> uh, nah, let's not do this. I want to uh, make these guys a little bit more harmless. So what I'm going to do is place a spider cocoon right there. That uh, dilutes the uh, power of the goblins. And also what we need to do at the start of the next loop is just to open this treasury because we have so much stuff lying around that that shouldn't be a problem. And we're over full on these cards. Now, uh, how about we do that now? I don't want to trigger it right now. Wait for the end of the loop. So I'm going for synergies instead. So let's place the rocks over there. And the village already heals 45 hit points, but... Well, we are getting a little low, and there's some uh, somewhat serious fights waiting here. There's another village waiting there, of course. We are low on damage, that's for sure. And I still have my spear that has 16 counter. The problem here is that we are going to lose the evasion from the uh, Dirk. But I think we have to bite that bullet, um, because... We are not going to survive this, and if we gain items, then this one will drop off. So I'm, I better do that now. And with uh, <laughs> uh, us nuking all our cards, which is also quite nice because that gives another resource, I think we should be placing the uh, spider, spider nest right next to our campfire. Um, that's better than having all our oblivion cards gone. And maybe we want to clear this blood cloth because he might get a little nasty. But let's wait for that one sec. We already have equipment for level 7, so we should be good there. But this is starting to feel a little rougher, that's for sure. Okay, so now the question. Do we want to attempt another loop? There's a lot of shit on here. Um, I think we do have a decent setup. But this is also looking quite hard. Um, how much resources do we have gathered? Not that impressive. Not that impressive. Hmm. I think what we are going to do first is to open this um, treasury and see if something comes out that we can use. Alright. Opened up. And... Mm, vampirism. That's extra damage. Uh, this one, is it good? Evasion 13, regen, attack speed. I think that is a yes. So are we going for another one? I think, yeah. Let, let's try, let's try. We do have decent-ish equipment, and uh, the only thing that is a little worrying here is... Well, is there anything? Yeah, we don't have very powerful healing potions, but uh, that's Herbalist Hut level 1 for you. And maybe we need an Oblivion cut for one of these groups, but maybe we draw one. Let's see how this first battle goes. Yeah, as long as we are evading the uh, skeleton attacks, that's fine. Because he's hitting like a fucking truck. Oh, there we go. Uh, we could gain some more defense, but that is not viable, I think. The bonuses on this one are too, way too good. Much more damage, if we need it. Mm, eh, probably not right now. The counter is decent enough. And 
uh, this one worries me a little. But there's a treasure chest there as well. Yeah, let's try. Let's try. Blood clot here is what is nasty. Now we are countering nicely and evading most of it. And this is working out, I believe. Still taking this down a notch. We gained a level up. And what we also did is get a new weapon here. That one is potentially uh, the way to go. Damage to all and a lot higher damage. Oh, or we could go for another Dirk. Lower damage, but added defense and evasion on it. Hmm. Should we smash our enemies or should we just evade everything and backstab them? I think I'm going with the uh, smash them for the moment. Oh, how much do we lose there? Counter 16. Is that all that we have? No, we have 40. Uh, and this is damage to all as well, which will help in the counter. So yeah, yeah, I think we can go with this one. Oh, okay, this one is good. Holy shit, this one is good. Uh, we just got a level 8 armor with counter 19. That is beautiful. Evasion is off though, but we do get a lot more hit points out of this. Alright, we uh, were able to uh, also, of course, get another level up here. So I forgot about that. Card, sh card sharp. 10% chance to keep the card after placing its tile. Nah, not so much. 35% chance to perform a counter attack during evade. Well, evasion 20. Um, that is quite nice. Oblivion cards. All of them. That would certainly get us through this loop without issues. But we already have two Oblivion cards on hand. So I think if I clear the worst of it, then we should be fine here. So I go with the counter attack one. Okay, boss is here. We're definitely uh, not going to be in a position to fight him, I believe. Unless something magical happens and we draw a level 10 card or something. Or level 10 equipment. Um, let's see. Hmm, we just got an orb of expansion. Don't know what that means, uh, like previously. But uh, I think that made the little sound. Not sure about it. Um, anyway, we got also some equipment here. Is that any better? And the answer is no. Uh, we do need some more healing, which we are going to get from the village here. And that wasn't much. Not at all. Oh man. Oh man, this is starting to look rough again. So, what do we want to nuke? Um, let's wait with the day tick here. We might want to nuke yeah, probably this group and this group. Although, well, these guys are not looking nice either. Maybe the goblins are the ones to nuke. Got another village. I'm going to place that over here so that we get some more healing. Oh, bandits. Well, nah, it does, doesn't really matter. And I'm just going to go for full healing now. This should be all I need, basically. Uh, or all I want at the moment. Not all that I need, because I need a full healing potion. Where are the full healing, full rejuvenation potions when you need them? I think this one with the harpy is probably the more difficult fight. So let's take on this one without nuking it first. See how that goes. Ouch. Now, 620 hit points to start out with, basically. Another healing potion down. Damn ghost. Okay, it wasn't too bad. That wasn't that bad at all. And we got quite a bit out of it. Um, well, another one there, Orb of Expansion. So I think I'm going to nuke these guys, because they have have had a... Oh, what was that? Um... Some, some weird marking going on on my, my square here. Uh, but they had a harpy in there. Three goblins and a harpy. I think that is quite a bit of firepower, not to be underestimated. Oh uh, yeah, let's nuke this. We get a little bit of healing from the village here, 50 hit points. And then we go into this fight, which is uh, also a little scary. Do we want to nuke this one? Because what, what is left here? We have one big dude, but he's alone. And then we have two bandits, which will be three bandits, likely. And then we can run. Mm, yeah, I think that's doable. 
So if we nuke these guys, then we should be fine. Um, new quest. Should we do it? I think so. Let's play it safe. Boom. They're gone. And the cemetery is gone. Uh, well, we can place a new one. <laughs> there you go. Lots of spiders. I hope we can nuke them down real quick. And that seems to be the case. I haven't lost too much. All right, this is getting a little tight. Oof. Yeah, no healing potions left. And, uh, yeah, you, if you continue to evade nicely, then that's not too bad. This spider fight here is a little nasty. But then we have another healing there, and these fights are easy. Ah, and now we kick in our um, extra regen, of course. That's also nice. Oh, we got another Oblivion card. Uh, cool. So what do we do with it? Do we want to destroy the big baddie here? Because we are going to flee anyway, aren't we? Or maybe these guys are actually more dangerous. We will get a lot of counters. They don't have that many hit points. But they do heal. And they are very hard to hit. Uh, oh, choices, choices. Difficult. So another little bit of healing. And this fight should be doable. Let's go ahead. Evade, evade, and uh, please counter, counter, counter. Yes, still over 500 hit points. Yeah, good fight. So one Oblivion card it is. Should we take this one or this one? Oof. Or none of them. Uh, or should we say, yeah, let's play it like this. Um, I think we can. I think we can beat these guys, even though the big baddie here is going to hit like a truck. Um, we should evade some of it, and then if we are too close to dying, then we can nuke this one. How about that? So let's go into this. Oh, this is scary. He hits for 96. <laughs> let's, ouch! Let's evade. Um, yes, our extra healing is up again. Re regeneration doubled. And yeah, we got him, but we are a little dead. Whoopsie! Um, how about nuking this one, please? And now, we should be fine. We can place a symmetry here to get uh, another little stone bit. And a rock here. Another one. There we go. And now we can run. Because we're definitely not going to fight the Lich like this. <laughs> but that was a good escape. Uh, loop 7. Decent. And we can run for free. Very nice. So, retreat and we get all those juicy resources. And that allows us to either up, uh, upgrade something or, indeed, build new shit. Like a few farms or... Oh, cemetery. Okay. Well, we I think we're going to check that out on the, at the start of the next episode and see what we can build. I hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs>